channel. In this episode, we are installing an open flash tablet tune on the BRZ. We're starting out with just a base stage one tune. We're gonna modify that tune a little bit and gonna make it do some backfires as well as tune the launch control a little bit to our liking. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But for now, let's unbox the open flash tablet. Here it is, this is the box it comes in. It's the open flash tablet V2. Basically, what you get is this tablet, which you leave in your car. I'll show you guys more of it later. And you get your OBD2 plugin, which is for your car. And a normal USB connector for your computer, which we're going to use right now. And I'm going to show you guys how to download the tunes and as well as modify them. All right, so here's how you download the tunes that you need. You want to go on Google and type in Open Flash Tablet. Is going to be the first link here next you want to go to support and downloads and here's where you enter your serial number um, you're going to find that serial number um, on your actual open flash tablet when it's connected into the car um, we already connected it to the car and you want to just take a picture it's going to be that calibration number right there mine is za1j as you see uh, so you type it into the search bar hit enter and that's gonna take you to these OTS maps, off the shelf maps. Uh, here's just a definition of the tunes that are provided. Uh, we're going with stage one today uh, that we're actually gonna modify for the backfires. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Stage two is aftermarket with catted headers. Stage two plus is catless headers and two plus E85 is uh, obviously E85 and catless, which is what we're gonna be upgrading to. Uh, pretty soon, but for now we don't have the equal length headers installed So we're just gonna start with stage one and the modified file and we're gonna also download stage two and stage two plus for when we're ready So we can just uh, flash it on right away. So what you want to do is uh, while you're on this page You want to download uh, open flash manager. This link will take you there and uh, Down here at the bottom. This is where you get your tunes to access your free tunes. Please click here um, so here they got a, got a weird uh, checkout process. Even though this is free, you still have to add it to your cart. This is the one with all of the uh, tunes that you need. Um, so you wanna go to view cart, proceed to checkout. You're gonna sign your name here and then click agree and sign. Sign and it will take you to this checkout page. We have all the tunes that you need and um, this XML file that's also important. So you wanna download the ones that you need or all of them, you might as well do that. Uh, so you have them saved on your computer. Um, I downloaded them and saved them into this tunes file, as you can see. So I got stage one, two, two plus, uh, 285 and two plus. Once you have your tune files, um, you could flash them directly uh, using Open Flash Manager, which you will download here. Uh, you go to this link right here. And at the bottom, you have your Open Flash Manager. Uh, I've already downloaded it and went through the install process. And here's what it looks like, what's in the stalls. Now, the first time that you open it, it will do an update. Uh, it varies for people. Some people, it takes five minutes, some people an hour. Uh, ours took 20 minutes, so be patient. Uh, but once it's done, it's gonna take you to this screen, um, at which point you could plug in your open flash tablet and uh, that will get your kind of base tune and everything set up. And then you can start choosing your tune files. Now, before we do that, uh, we want to do our backfire tune and let me show you guys how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to Google ROM Raider and the first link that pops up is this one. Uh, you could download for Windows or Linux. Most of you guys are probably going to be using Windows. Unfortunately, it's not available on Mac. Uh, when I downloaded an executable file with this link, for some reason I couldn't get through the setup process. Uh, so workaround from that is to actually uh, download this Windows zip file. You gotta download it down here, you open it up, and then you wanna extract this to your users folder. So that would be in your, this PC, C drive, and users, you click okay. Then you wanna navigate to the users folder, open up ROM Raider, and click ron.bat, and that will launch your ROM Raider. Now, this part is only for the people that want to do a custom tune. Obviously, I don't have much custom tuning experience, but it is very easy to custom tune a backfire tune. I'll show you how to do that here. Once you've 
open ROM Raider, uh, you want to go to ECU definitions. Uh, you want to do go to your ECU definition manager and you want to add a new ECU definition. Uh, next, you want to navigate to the tune files uh, that you downloaded and the XML file that, that I mentioned recently. That's the file that you want to open and apply and save. All right, once you got your ECU definition uh, added, you want to go to File, Open Image, and you want to navigate to the tune that you are going to be modifying. In our case, it's going to be the Stage 1 tune. All right, so for the pop tune, um, there's various ways that people do it. Uh, one of the ones that I found on forums um, is actually uh, once you got this tune opened up uh, is actually to go to advanced ignition timing and bass timing A. Uh, so you want to hold down control and click on every one of these. And you want to decrease these by 10. So you punch in negative 10 right there and click set. So you're good there. Uh, then you want to go to bass timing B. And in bass timing B, uh, I'm going to start from uh, 7450 and go all the way up and same thing decrease this by 10. Another thing we're going to do real quick since we're in here is to uh, adjust our launch control RPMs. Um, so if you go to the bottom folder here uh, it's called alpha B or Z and uh, you go to launch control RPM delta uh, it's basically how far it is away from your red line. By default on stage one, it's going to be at around 2000, which means it's 2000 less than your red line, uh, which in this case, it's probably about 5000 something RPMs. We want ours to be a little bit lower or farther away from the red line. So we're actually going to set it up here uh, to 3500. So 3500 below the red line because uh, we don't want too much wheel spin and we want to actually to work. So we're going to set that to 3500 up here. I'm going to hit set. Uh, you might get this message that says user level is too low. All you got to do is go to view user level and just click highest and then we can set it. And we set it to 3500 RPMs and you can save it. Uh, now we go into file, save, and we're going to call this uh, backfire with launch and click also type in dot bin and hit save uh, you might get this pop-up it's fine you just hit no twice and you're good to start uh, flashing it onto your open flash manager okay so now it's time to actually put the tunes on your open flash tablet you want to go up and open up open flash manager uh, make sure it's done actually uh, updating uh, it's going to populate your uh, data from your vehicle and this is where you select your tunes you got your present tune which is your oem tune you don't want to delete that um, i've already uploaded the stage one stage two plus stage two plus um, e85 here's how you add the tune uh, so you just open, click on the folder icon and navigate to where your tunes are and one by one you could select the tune uh, in our case we just made this tune the backfire.bin you click open and you click OK. Uh, now these are your tunes that are going to be on your Open Flash tablet. And um, after that, all you have to do is click Start. All right, data has been written. Let's go and install this on the car. Okay. All right, so you want to make sure that all your doors and windows and hood and trunk are closed. Go ahead and plug in your open flash tablet. That's going to take a second to boot up and you want to click uh, your start button which will get into ignition mode without actually start, uh, starting your car so don't push your clutch in. Uh, next you're, you're going to want to click tuning and that's going to take a little while to read your um, read the files that you have now written and you want to click on write. This will show you the tunes that we just put on as you can see we got our stage one 2 plus, 2 plus E85 and our backfire tune. I think we're going to start with the backfire tune and click next. And it's in progress. As you can see here, um, the heater and a couple of things just turned off while we we're sitting here and it says do not interrupt process. 
which includes opening up doors, windows, anything. Just so just don't touch anything, don't click anything until that completes. And we're done. It says turn ignition power off and press OK to confirm. So now it's saying to switch your ignition power off for 10 seconds uh, and then start the engine at idle for 45 seconds before driving. So let's go ahead and do that. And 10. I think you just start the car. Hopefully it starts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wait 45 seconds. While it's running, we're gonna take off our silencers. This exhaust tends to drown sometimes, so my brother puts those in. Uh, now it's gonna get a little louder so we can hear those backfires, hopefully. All right, first thing we're gonna try is launch control. So I think you just first gear and mash the pedal. Traction on. Yeah, see if it holds it. Hey. <laughs> control definitely works as far as the crackles and pops so far we've been able to get a couple but it's really hard to hear them on camera we'll try to include a couple uh, but um, basically you just got to kind of play around with the throttle until you figure it out um, but it's nothing like super drastic uh, but I think once we get our unequal length headers in I think that's really gonna make a huge difference you're really gonna hear that stuff extra 200 pounds with you that you usually don't. To sum up, this open flash tablet is definitely an awesome tool. Uh, like I said before, this is just stage one. Uh, don't expect too much uh, power gains. Um, but like I said, we did feel uh, some better throttle response and some more power on the upper end from the advanced timing. Uh, and the backfires are a nice addition too. It just takes some time to kind of learn how to get them to backfire. And I'm sure we're gonna learn it um, over the next couple of days. Uh, but that's not it. Uh, we're still going to go stage 2 plus with E85 and that's when I think uh, we'll actually feel good power gains and that's when I think um, getting this tablet is actually worth it. I uh, will also make a video on that and I'll leave the link in the description of this video. That's about it. Thank you for watching guys. Peace.